Hello everyone, let us transform yung standard equation ng ating hyperbola papunta sa kanyang general equation. But first, let us be familiar dun sa ating dalawang orientation when it comes to our standard equation. Meron tayong horizontal transverse axis. This is our transverse axis ng ating hyperbola. Kaya kung makikita natin dito sa drawing, yung hyperbola natin is opening towards the right and towards the left. Tapos kapag ang transverse axis naman natin ay vertical, dito sa ating pangalawang equation, then ang ating hyperbola will be opening upwards and downwards. With that, ang equation ng ating hyperbola with horizontal transverse axis ay x minus h squared over a squared minus y minus k squared over b squared is equal to 1. Kung titignan natin yung ating vertical transverse axis, ang pinagkaiba lang niya sa horizontal is pinagpalit natin yung position ng ating x minus h squared at y minus k squared. Kapag nauna yung x minus h squared, ang ating transverse axis ay horizontal pero kapag ang nauna naman ay y minus k squared, ang ating transverse axis ay vertical. So that's it for our standard equation. Tignan naman natin yung ating general equation. We have ax squared plus by squared plus cx plus dy plus e is equal to 0. Ang gagawin natin for this discussion is ililipat natin yung ating standard equation, whether horizontal or vertical, papunta sa ating general equation. So with that, punta na tayo sa ating step-by-step -step process here sa ating unang example. We have to transform the equation of the hyperbola to its general equation. We are given with y plus 1 squared over 3 squared minus x minus 2 squared over 4 squared is equal to 1. Kung titignan natin yung ating standard equation, nauna yung y natin. Yung y plus 1, this is our y minus k, kaya meron tayong vertical transverse axis. Ngayon, kung titignan ulit natin yung ating general equation, isang line lang siya. Kaso nga lang, meron tayong 3 squared at 4 squared sa ating denominator. Kaya for our first step, kailangan natin silang tanggalin. But first, we need to simplify para mas madali natin siyang masolve. Isulat ulit natin, we have our y plus 1 and then squared. This is over. Yung 3 squared ay gawin na nating 9. And then this is minus. Still, x minus 2 and then squared. Tapos yung 4 squared, that is just equal to 16 and equal to 1. Then, para matanggal na natin yung ating denominator, we will be multiplying yung ating buong equation dun sa ating LCD. Pero in this case, para hindi tayo mahirapan, let us just multiply our equation dun sa products ng ating denominator na 9 and 16. Kasi as we multiply our equation by 9 times 16, hindi ko muna siya itutuloy, makikita natin mamaya kung bakit. Dito natin siya gagawin, and then dito rin sa kabila, and then dito sa ating 1. So, let us proceed with our multiplication process. Isusulat ko lang yung ating minultiply na 9 times 16 using different color. So, this is 9 times 16. Tapos, imumultiply natin siya dito. Ang nasa numerator lang natin is y plus 1 squared. Kaya, let me write down y plus 1 and then squared. Tapos, as we multiply, wala naman tayong ginawa sa ating denominator. So, this is still over 9. And then, this is minus. Same process, dito naman natin siya imumultiply. We have our 9 times 16. Tapos siya yung imumultiply natin dito sa ating x minus 2 squared. So this is x minus 2 and then squared. And we have our same denominator. 1 na lang naman yung nasa right side natin. Kaya ipaperform ko na yung 9 times 16. That is just equal to 144. Then, kung makikita natin, meron tayong 9 dito sa ating numerator at 9 sa denominator. Kaya hindi ko agad kinuha yung products ng 9 and 16. Since the operation between our terms sa numerator ay multiplication, we can perform our division. Kaya we have 9 divided by 9, that is just equal to 1, and then 1 times 16, 16 na lang siya. Kaya ito ay magiging 16 times y plus 1, and then squared. Then this is minus, same process, meron tayong 16 at 16 sa numerator at denominator, we can perform our division. So this is 16 divided by 16 is 1, and then 9 times 1, that is just 9, and then retained yung ating x minus 2 squared. Our right side is just equal to 144. 
Ngayon, kung makikita natin, single line na lang yung ating equation na wala na yung ating denominator. We will not be dealing with fractions anymore, kaya kailangan na lang natin expand yung ating equation. Ang kaya pa natin isimplify ay yung ating y plus 1 squared tsaka x minus 2 squared. This is just a square of a binomial. If you are familiar with the formula, i-apply nyo na lang siya. Pero kung hindi, let us multiply our terms by itself ng dalawang beses kasi meron tayong exponent na 2. Kaya pwede ulit natin siyang isulat as 16 times we multiply y plus 1 by itself twice. So this is y plus 1 times y plus 1 and then this is minus 9. Same here sa ating exponent na 2 kaya this is x minus 2 times x minus 2 and then all is equal to 144. Then we perform our multiplication kahit dito muna tayo. Ang gagawin lang natin is kunin natin yung ating first term na y, imumultiply natin siya kay y and then kay 1 na nandito. So we have our 16. Huwag natin kalimutan yung ating grouping symbol kasi ito yung minumultiply natin. So we have y times y that is y squared. Tapos yung y times 1 that is just 1y or y. Then si 1 naman, siya yung imumultiply natin kay y tsaka kay 1. So, we have 1 times y, that is also equal to y, and then 1 times 1, that is 1. And then, this is all minus. Same here, iwan muna natin yung 9. So, this is minus 9, and then we perform our multiplication dito sa x minus 2 times x minus 2. Let's start dun sa ating unang term na x, siya yung imumultiply natin kay x, tsaka kay negative 2. So, we have our x times x, that is just equal to x squared, and then x times negative 2, yun naman ay negative 2x. Then, doon naman tayo sa ating second term, si negative 2 kay x, tsaka kay negative 2, we perform our multiplication, negative 2 times x, that is negative 2x, and then negative 2 times negative 2, since both negative sila, nagmultiply tayo, ang sagot natin ay positive, and that is 4. And then, this is all equal to 144. Then, kaya pa natin isimplify yung nasa loob, we have our y plus y and negative 2x minus 2x. Bawasan muna natin siya bago tayo mag-perform ng ating multiplication sa labas. So, doing that, let us have our 16 times y squared, tapos eto, y plus y. Meron silang tig isa, so 1 plus 1 is just 2, and then we copy our variable y, kaya this is 2y, and then this is plus 1 minus... 9 pa rin to, and then yung nasa loob, we have our x squared, negative 2x minus 2x, we have our negative 2 minus 2, that is just equal to negative 4. So this is negative 4, and then x, tapos yung ating 4 na nandito, all is equal to 144. Then pwede na natin galawin yung ating numbers na nasa labas, we can multiply them dito sa mga nasa loob. So let's start with 16 times y squared, and then 16 times 2y, Tapos 16 times 1. Doing that, we have our 16y squared. Tapos 16 times 2y. 16 times 2, that is 32. Kaya ito ay magiging 32y. Tapos 16 times 1, that is still equal to 16. And then minus, para wala na tayong problema sa sign, yung buong negative 9 na yung imumultiply natin. So we have negative 9 times x squared. This is still negative 9x squared. Tapos, negative 9 times negative 4x, since both negative sila, ang sagot natin will become positive. Kaya, 9 times 4, that is 36. So, we have positive 36 and then x. And then lastly, negative 9 times 4. Since magkaiba sila ng sign, ang sagot na natin ay negative. And then still, 9 times 4 is 36. This is all equal to 144. Medyo malapit na tayo dun sa ating general equation. Kaya let me write down our general equation para magkaroon tayo ng visual cue dun sa goal natin. Ang general equation ng ating hyperbola ay ax squared plus by squared plus cx plus dy plus e is equal to 0. Kaya ang gagawin natin, let's start with our ax squared, lahat ng merong x squared, isa lang naman siya, and that is negative 9x squared. Kaya isulat natin siya, yun na natin, we have our negative 9x squared. Susunod natin ay yung merong y squared, we have 16y squared. Kaya ang susunod natin ay 16y squared. 
Then we have our cx, yung meron lang na variable na x, that is just 36x. Kaya this is plus 36x. Tapos for our dy, yung meron lang kasama na y, we have 32y. So this is plus 32y. And then ang concern na lang natin ay yung numbers natin. We have 16 and then minus 36 and then 144. Kaya ang gagawin natin, pag samasamahin natin sila sa isang side ng ating equation, so this is 16 and then minus 36, tapos si positive 144, dahil galing siya sa ating right side, this will become negative 144 and all is equal to 0. Kailangan na lang natin gawin yung operation nila para dun sa ating E, but first isulat muna natin lahat yung ating terms na nauna. We have negative 9 x squared plus 16y squared, plus 36x, plus 32y. Tapos yung ating 16 minus 36, this is negative 20. Negative 20 minus 144, that is negative 164, and this is equal to 0. If we check our equation, ang a natin is negative 9, ang b naman natin is positive 16, ang c natin is positive 36, ang D natin is 32, tapos ang E natin that is just negative 164. So this is our general equation na ilipat natin siya from the standard equation ng ating hyperbola. As a last note, kung mapansin nyo, yung ating leading term is negative. This is not an issue naman when it comes to our equation na sana ilang kasi tayo na positive yung ating leading terms kadalasan. Pero wala namang rule sa math na nagsasabi na bawal ang negative na leading terms. Pero kung gusto mo siyang baguhin, pwede mo namang ilipat lahat ng terms natin sa kabilang side ng ating equation. With that, magbabago yung signs nila from negative to positive. Same lahat nung nandito. But that is just a matter of preference. Either way, tama naman yung parehong representations. And this is it for this video. Nanggaling tayo sa standard equation ng ating hyperbola papunta sa kanyang general equation.